Welcome to Two Jews on Film. I'm Joan. And I'm John. Hi, John. Hi, John. <laughs> okay, tonight we're reviewing a, a film called The Five Year Engagement. It stars uh, Jason Siegel and Emily Blunt. And uh, Judd Apatow produced it. Now, when I go see a film, I'm much easier than you are, as everyone knows. As long as I care about the characters. Well, this film. And there's. Can I express myself? As long as I care about the characters and their story, I'm usually with the film. Okay, these characters and their story annoyed me to the oomph degree. This is a great movie to take somebody <laughs> if you're in a relationship and you're not, you really kind of want to end it, but you don't know how, you can't find the words to do it. This this movie will give you ample excuse to get rid of anybody and anything and any anything tainted well, that has to do with love. I don't know. You know, it, it's a five year engagement. It felt like it went on for five years. It was. Well, just, it's, it's just it's just a psychobabble. It is psychobabble, and you know what? It's and like and you it's, knew the ending of my. You saw the ending no, coming from the first that, scene like, in the film. It's like psychobabble of the yuppies, which are just so old and dated, oh, and who gives? Who cares? Yeah, I know. Nicholas Stoller directed it. He did Get Me to the Greek, which I liked, and he did The Muppets. But you know, Emily Blunt annoyed me. She, speaking of characters that annoyed me, she really annoyed me. And I usually like her. She's the British chick, you know, the British chick that speaks like this, so and this she's is, all perky. This is, this is why, had I married somebody like that, I would have been up for a murder charge. And you know, I, I like Jason Segel. I mean, you like Jason Segel. I don't get him. I you don't get him. I thought you liked him. I think he's okay. Oh, I like him. He was great in uh, what was that film? Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Well, that's true. He was great remember? in that film. And he was good in Jeff Lives but, at Home. But here. the problem with this, this is like oh an actor God. turned writer. And yeah, he did. He wrote the, the film scenes, with Nicholas. The Stoller. scenes are so long so and long. so repetitive. Oh my God! And you keep waiting. Is it the ending? No. Is it the ending? No. It just here, never I, ends. I wanted to show you Go one ahead. little moment. Go ahead. We're engaged. You, you know, no, we're not engaged. We're not engaged. You know, you know, I have something to tell you. What? Well, I can't tell you right now. <laughs> when are you going to tell me? Because when we get to the event on time <laughs> and, and meet my friend Mark, who's going to be there <laughs> with, with a party for us, and you got to pretend that it's all, you know, a it's surprise. All a surprise. <laughs> Do you know what the surprise is? I have no idea. Here's my ring. <gasps> we're en engaged? Oh my God! It's... But don't tell Mark or Leslie or June because <laughs> they'll, they'll be hurt. And you didn't get me anyway, a diamond; you got me a I'm ruby. I'm going to tell you something. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Cause you know I like vintage. You get rings. the bagels. Oh my God! I need I say more? Okay, I am giving uh, the five-year engagement. I'm only going to give it two bagels dry out of five because the film just didn't work. And I'm giving it a half a bagel, oh, and that's being generous. It, well, for you, okay. <laughs> the five-year engagement opens in theaters Friday, um, April 27th, and personally, I, I'd wait for DVD. This is great divorce material. <laughs>